very good afternoon to all the students of class 10th three online as well as offline students please behave okay so we are going to start new chapter we finished the proposal that day only fine only additional questions are left that we will do later on ncrt questions were done that day only fine when you were busy in flying kites on that day we have done that chapter you can see the recordings A very less number of students joined that day that's what i'm saying so uh, this new chapter of another book footprints without feet why i have written book here because this is chapter as well so please uh, chapter name is the necklace because first chapter is the making of a scientist we have done already characters are matilda loisel let me tell you about this woman first matilda loisel she is you can say married in middle class family but having big dreams of becoming wealthy and rich fine so she is having i am just getting disturbance from that side only so please make sure so she is uh, married to a government clerk named monsieur uh, loisel mr loisel is there fine is a uh, monsieur we will be using with his name because he is working as a clerk in government sector so he is a middle class man but he is not like his wife fine he is not into day dreaming of becoming wealthy and rich whatever he has is uh, sufficient with that okay so then madam forestier as you can see i have written in the bracket wealthy friend of matilda so these days it's very common that we start comparing ourselves with others you can see the impact of social networking sites as well that we see others uh mary making and doing holidays outside we start comparing oh my god he's so rich she's so rich section please take the book and please shift here no need to show it to anyone they can manage so please have your notebooks and please note down you also skip one desk to sit so uh madam forestier she is a wealthy friend of matilda fine so these are the three characters of this chapter only so you need to remember that Matilda Loisel married in middle class family but wants to be rich. Monsieur Loisel government clerk he is uh, earning enough for survival and satisfied. Madam Forestier is wealthy friend of Matilda. Now the storyline what we are going to get out of this chapter theme is appearances are deceptive. What does it mean that what looks is not really there some we people are so much into pretentiousness you know you know ostentatiousness hum bahut zyada pretend karte ho ki we are rich and by wearing branded clothes by showing it off in the society so that is very good theme of this chapter that how we love to pretend in the society and even we are not so even then so greed and awareness awareness means greed in it so this is a synonym of greed okay so awareness leads to one's doom doom means the ending so agar aap mein greed hai and with the wrong means you can lead to your doom as well fine so this is the basic theme of this chapter so let me share the screen over here and the students who are having books can see but please tomorrow onwards bring your own books yes beta screen is visible just send me your feedback accordingly the necklace you can see the screen just uh, send me your feedback accordingly this chapter on page number thirty nine page thirty nine of your book Matilda is invited to a grand party in the box. I am reading the grey box. Those who do not have the books, please listen. I am. I am not going to rush it. Fine. I will be reading slowly. So Matilda is invited to a grand party. She has a beautiful dress, but no jewelry. She borrows a necklace from a friend and loses it. What happens then? So in the beginning, they have you know told us that vanity and into beauty, people do anything just to look beautiful. especially women by seeing the other women that she is wearing costly necklace i should wear the same and all so she wants to pretend in the party she wants to show it off fine matilda takes it 
borrows it from her friend madam forestier and what happens and then that is to be seen in the story clear characters are i already told you let's read the story now she was one of those pretty young ladies born as if through an error of destiny into a family of clerks she here stands for matilda loisel find that she is born uh, she's like that only that she thinks that she should be born into a rich family she had no dowry no hopes no means of becoming known loved and married by a man either rich or distinguished so being born in a middle class family she does not have any chance of getting married into a fluent or rich family fine she is born in a middle class family but she is very pretty fine and uh, when she gets married married by a man either rich or distinguished she allowed herself to marry a petty clerk so she thought because i am born in such kind of family uh, who are not rich so i should you know get married to a middle class family again so she finds a man who is a government clerk you know clerical work he does and a petty clerk in the office of the board of education so where does monsieur loisel works in board of education what work he does clerk clerical work fine she was simple but she was unhappy you know sometimes if one more theme of this chapter is we are not satisfied with what we have we want what we do not have fine we always are having desires find that i want this thing tab mai aham conditions lagate hain life mein that if i will get this branded dress i will be happy if i will get this car or mobile i will be happy so these conditional lives you know they are very short lived because after getting one material one a thing you have another wish fine wish list keeps on increasing so this is also one of the themes of this chapter the necklace that we should be grateful for what we have jo hai usko to pehle use karo a lot of things are like wasting we people are wasting at home and we are wishing for the things which we do not have this is also very prominent theme so she was simple but she was very unhappy so matilda loyes is satisfied nahi hai apni life se because she is not rich she suffered incessantly feeling herself born for all de delicacies and luxuries incessantly matlab she so much uh, incessantly ka meaning hota hai without a stop unstoppable so without a stop she is thinking that you know i should born in a family where luxuries are there and bas ek hi cheez hai uske mind mein that's why she is not happy she is not satisfied so that she is uh, having the feeling that she should have all the luxuries of life sari amenities mujhe milni chahiye life ki she suffered from the poverty of her apartment the shabby walls but reality kya hai she is not living in reality she has very shabby looking walls please boys please shabby walls means very you can say looking in a night not painted properly and uh, very uh, and she is living in a poor apartment which is not luxurious and worn out furniture chairs are there all these things tortured and angered her and when she sees the walls her apartment her furniture she gets frustrated fine rather than we should see ki there are people who do not have chairs to sit who do not have apartment to live so she was having she was not thankful for that so she was very much angry that why i am leading such a uh, life when she seated herself for dinner opposite her husband who uncovered the tureen t u r e e n tureen beta kya hota hai please underline and note down it's a dish to serve soup jisme soup dal ke dete hain wo bartan hota hai wo so she and her husband are sitting and she you know uncovered the tureen with a delighted air saying oh the good pot pie i know nothing better than that aur kuch nahi yahi hai us khane Rather than being grateful, we take even eatables. आप अपनी मदर्स को कहते हो ना बस यही बनाया येलो दाल ओनली यू नो यू कुड नॉट मेक समथिंग एल्स सो एटलीस्ट वी शुड बी थैंकफुल फॉर गेटिंग द सेम थिंग एटलीस्ट और समथिंग टू ईट सो वी कीप ऑन लर्किंग फॉर द थिंग्स विच आर लाइक फास्ट फूड एंड ऑल ऑल द टाइम दिस इज दिस अप्लाइज टू अस एज वेल सो 
oh, she says she would think of elegant dinners that you know i should go out in five star hotels and all of shining silver and shining silver means wo kehti hamare paas to yahi hai tureen chhota sa dish jisme soup dal ke pi rahe and uh, you know silver she the cutlery jo uh, bowls and plates silver uske liye use hue costly dishes ke liye so she is imagining that you know she thought of the exquisite food served in marvelous dishes rather than she is not presently moment uh, she is not present in the present moment she is thinking of you know very uh, costly food in big hotels having that candlelight dinner kind of thing so she is not happy with what she had she had neither uh, frocks nor jewels nothing she didn't have any good you can say jewelry and all and she loved only those things what she did not have you got you understood the character of matilda loisel yes vivan and rian what are you noting down i can read over there i can come also okay so if i caught you please when she seated uh, sorry she had a rich friend i'm just reading this last uh, paragraph students online students i hope it is clear to you she had a rich friend a schoolmate at the convent now i'm going to talk about madam forestier clear she had a rich friend a schoolmate at the convent who she did not like to visit she did not like to visit her friend why she suffered so much when she returned because what we do this is the problem we compare our lives with others and this is the beginning of the doom of our lives we should not make comparisons maybe what qualities we have that person is not having but hame to wo dikhta hai ki uske paas ye hai you know this is very uh, 90% people suffer with this we all that we start comparing our lives with others fine so she suffered so much whenever she would visit her friend after coming back from her house she would suffer ki oh god how good life she is having she wept for whole days from despair and disappointment after returning from madam forestier's house she would cry ki uske paas to itna kuch hai i do not have the basic amenities even so one evening now something that incident that happening is going to be started one evening her husband returned elated bearing in his hand a large envelope so entry of monsieur loisel fine mr loisel he comes and he was having a big envelope in his hand and he came very elated very happy with big announcement here here is something for you he said and handed over that envelope to his wife i don't think so ki aapko book ki zarurat hai fine you are getting it na so she quickly you can see in this picture as well she quickly drew out a printed card she opens the envelopes who opens the envelope isha preet uski wife what is the name of the yes matilda loisel so matilda loisel opens the envelope and she takes out that printed card that was an invitation card actually and that was written let me read the words of the card the minister of public instruction and madam george ramponu ask the honor of mr and monsieur and madam loisel's company monday evening january 18 at the minister's residence so one of the prominent ministers he is going to have a function at his own home and he has invited matilda as well as mr loisel because mr loisel works over there and you know in foreign countries and in these days it is in trend that when you get an invitation card the names of the persons who are invited are embossed so that no hamare yahan pe india mein kya hota hai one person is invited the whole family is going to have dinner and vanish so no so this is they the, the way foreign culture and it is coming here also so foreign culture is like that the person who is invited whose name is embossed will go and they will carry the invitation card as well at the entry gate only then they will be allowed fine so we were uh, as you can see in this entry of monsieur loisel clear 
so he is so happy now we if we compare the character of uh, mr loisel and madam loisel what is the difference what is the difference yes mehak please tell me so uh, she is saying that let me uh, tell for the online children that mehak tells us that that she is she is she is kind of greedy and uh, mr loisel is yes very good so uh, mehak you can sit down matilda loisel she is greedy she is not at all happy with what she has but her husband he is satisfied and contented that's why he is so happy you know with the that invitation card by his boss so he is sharing that happiness with his wife but wife is not at all happy now let me tell you the reason of that why she is not happy instead of being delighted as her husband had hoped she threw the invitation spitefully upon the table murmuring what do you suppose i want with that this is the dialogue of matilda you know she was so uh, angry at the invitation kate what should i do with this invitation why she is unhappy anybody can tell me why she is unhappy she has been invited at such a great function but even then she is not happy yes so this is the reason again that this is the party of affluent and rich people and she is so disheartened that what she will do over there basic concern is what she will wear over there that's why they have mentioned that she does not have uh, dresses and jewelry she compares herself with others fine so instead of being delighted she becomes so dejected please remember now this paragraph please i i have highlighted but my deary this is the dialogue of her husband my deary i thought it would make you happy he thought that my wife will be so happy that they are going to attend a function you never go out and this is an occasion and a fine one everybody wishes one and it is very select not many are given to employees you will see the whole official world there so he is saying he is this is one good opportunity nobody you know everybody is not invited over such a function and you will you know get to see the whole official lord every person will be there and this will be a very great party you you will enjoy it and you never go out also why are you sad she looked at him with an irritated eye and declared impatiently what do you suppose i have to wear to such a thing as that so this is the problem she threw that invitation card you know most of the women suffer with this a problem they have a lot of dresses but even then they say we have nothing to wear over there what a particular dress i will wear over there and even not for women these days men as well fall into the same category we people are you know becoming very pretentious we are into the race of looking nice all the time but yes we should see what basic facilities our parents can provide us rather than by seeing others ki okay he is wearing that brand and i should also follow the same clear so in this when she declares that she is not at all happy because she does not have a dress to wear proper dress nice dress he had not thought of that he stammered why the dress you wear when we go to the theater so husband is giving the reminder you know one day we went to the theater you were wearing a nice dress what about that it seems very pretty to me he was silent stupefied in dismay at the sight of his wife weeping rather than becoming happy she starts crying fine so we are on the same page she started crying on this that she does not have a nice dress to wear on the occasion what is the matter what is the matter he stammered why are you crying stop it ryan kalra if you want to sit in the class behave like a human being stop it take his pen away from him <coughs> by a violent effort she had controlled her vexation and responded in a calm voice so she responded in a very calm voice 
wiping her moist cheeks nothing only i have no dress and consequently i cannot go to this affair give your car to some colleague whose wife is better fitted out than i so she is giving the suggestion that give this car to the person who affords to buy a dress fine so she is not at all happy and she is not at all interested in going to such a place he was grieved but answered let us see matilda husband you know he had that patience he says let me check how much uh, you know would a suitable costume cost something that would serve for other occasions something very simple you know let me check that if i can afford a dress for you for this occasion she reflected for some seconds thinking of a sum that she could ask for without bringing with it an immediate refusal and a frightened exclamation from the economical clerk so rather than vivan and ryan see me after this class okay see me after this class i am just recording is going on i have named two two students of 10th d fine and they will see me after this period for their very very uh, particular behavior in the class by while well, behaving like animals so uh, he was grieved but he even then said ki okay i will arrange you know money for your dress and she did not refuse it on the very first he she accepted it ki okay if you want to arrange money for me she started thinking and calculating how much money she demands and she wants for the occasion i cannot tell exactly but it seems to me that 400 francs so currency is there 400 francs she is giving the estimation fine that 400 francs will be enough he turned a little pale he became dull for he had saved just this sum to buy a gun that he might be able to join some hunting parties the next summer husband had 400 francs but he had been saving those just because he wanted to join a hunting group all all his friends were going for hunting some animals or creatures though poaching is banned nowadays so they the chapter is written many years ago when it was not banned so he wanted to go for hunting and he wanted to save money for the same fine and but he was thinking that for so many days i have been saving money for my gun nevertheless he answered very well i will give you 400 francs but try to have a pretty dress so what does it show about monshel loison's character that he is satisfied even he is ready to give his saved amount to his wife just because she is uh, you know thinking that she should wear a nice and beautiful dress so he gives his saved money the whole amount which he wanted to uh, go for his own hobby of hunting so he decides ki i will give you now please tell me yes aap bataiye <coughs> before we proceed i would like to ask you the question what kind of a person is monsieur loisel according to you so he satisfied with the things he had and he is his hard working as well he is saving the money that shows he is like homemaker fine he is into he tries to make her wife understand also that she will have a good time over there that shows that he is very caring understanding and loving husband as well fine so these are the traits what what we extract so down please cs yes, saksham you tell me that what do you get to know about madam loisel why is she always unhappy please tell me why she is always unhappy divyansh if you want to speak you speak otherwise i have other students as well sit down so she is unhappy because she is not satisfied with what she has she keeps on comparing herself with other affluent people she wants to relish all the luxuries of life she wants to lead an affluent life a rich life 
but exactly the reality is opposite she's born and even married in middle class family she does not have she's living in a very poor apartment where all the furniture is worn out and walls are pale fine and she keeps on looking at those things and she gets angry that's why she is not at all happy and satisfied as simple as that fine itna simple hai online children please tell me is it clear whatever we have read